hi and welcome back. I'm going to be playing a little slow today. Um, I have a headache. Woke up with one. So we want to start uh, using up some of our unemployment. This is going to be our, our, our other dock. So they can go up here and get employment. and get up to the uh, fishery. be the next uh, small casualty. We're going to use this to uh, provide employment for this area here. And we'll use this to supply employment if we do any industrial thing over there. And I think we want to give these guys a call. will provide uh, fire and water or fire and architect for these guys down here. start feeding these guys. Huh, we haven't used up our reserve funds yet.
and we've done a lot of spending. Our economy is really bad. I mean, we've got gold guys coming in here. But they've got the the absolute longest walk. One month. Did I even get told they were coming? Two, sixteen, and sixteen. I don't remember getting a warning, but I'm really bad at uh, at reading my messages when they come in. Okay, well, I guess in a month we'll find out if we're starting over. <laughs> Okay, well that's good. We're gonna get some help from Seth. We're starting to see. Some of these guys must not have been putting food in here. Already got these guys up. So desirability is gonna be the thing, eh? Okay, I think we'll win. I just want to watch it. Well, I killed one of my archers. I don't know where these guys are going. Well, I lost a chariot even though I saw an archer fall over. And it makes funny noises. Now I know why I don't watch those battles. So kind of the goal was to get this area up to rough cottages. I mean to ordinary cottages. But it looks like we're going to have a problem with uh, aesthetics. And that's going to be the limit of what we're getting there. That improved things a little. since I shouldn't be. I can delete this. There's a shrine, sir, that I didn't notice. No neighborhood is complete without a cat or an alligator statue. I think this is the nicest this neighborhood's going to get. Entertainment. I'm gonna get these guys entertainment by having my global ratings be perfect. So they, these guys should evolve up um, even without any, any uh, venues or walkers over here. I was hoping they were gonna wipe all my archers out so that I could uh, get rid of this fort and move it into here okay so long term I think we're gonna put our obelisks down here I 
That means all the supply stuff is going to be over here. schools, room for some storage yards, room for granary. Let's see what this is. 15? Yeah, we can do that. And then we're going to want to make sure that these guys are fed and have a god. We're going to want to make sure that these guys are fed and have a god, but we'll work on we'll work on that later. Actually, we might work on that now. Okay. So if we want to put some more ships up here, I want to do that little housing trick over here too. weird that it would say that this one was next to a road, but this one wasn't, but now it's saying that it is. That's very weird. But I can put it there. I don't think I'm quite ready to bring in more granite. So I think I need eight storage yards if I'm going to be enough. Um, I'm just going to do some math here. I'm going to have to bring some fish over for these people. Well, I'm just going to get a quarter of a yard here.
don't do that. It's tough to see things with walls. So this area is set up for whenever we do start getting granite. Looks like the fish is already here. Unfortunately, the aesthetics of this area are going to be absolutely the poop. Kadesh in 12 months, so before January. We'll be able to send a little bit more in terms of chariots over there by then. It's by land, so we're not panicking on building transports. So this is working. Bizarre lady is just bought fish from the warehouse. Okay, good. We're starting to see some some green in our shacks. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna dip into our reserve funds here. What happened to our uh, gold guys here? Did we lose employment? Okay, we lost employment on here for some reason. Let's put a roadblock there just to direct them up into here they must have been coming down well no that doesn't make sense yeah because this road was here so these guys must have been coming down getting employment off of here now they'll have to go up that explains why we ran out of money some little changes like that if you don't know what your walkers are doing can do some really strange stuff well, we got our reserve funds. It would have been cool to stay out of that, this mission, but I guess that's not going to happen. At least I can soak up some more unemployment. Um, super confident that uh, we're not going to require the services of a navy. Oh, I'm running into that bug where this would be overlapping it so it doesn't let you put it down. Which is the strangest, most confusing things at times. Okay. Why don't you... Get a half a yard of wood.
for some fishing boats later. Probably enough for now. That's what four. Do four more over here later. Doing pretty good on uh, getting this chariot board up and running. And we have a warship over here already. somebody's making something okay so Navy seems to be working unemployment's at 8% now to keep that from burning down. And then we should work on getting food and a god over here. I'm putting down bass temples in these little areas just so they don't eat as much. So these guys will also need a bazaar, correct? Mm -hmm. 
statues might be better to try to counteract some of that. And I need a warehouse, so. Why don't we go, oh, we are already doing quarters. Okay, so that's good. We can use this one to get a half, a, well, just a quarter. So if I put it here, I can put a large statue on either side of it. Which I won't do right now, because um, I don't have the Devons for getting artsy. I could have put it here, because I'm really, I don't think it's a great good mission, so I don't have to worry about weapons. I'm going to put it down here. If I do for some reason need to make weapons in a hurry, I can stick uh, weaponsmiths over here. This industry shut off. It's supposed to be shut off. Oh, because I started it up again this morning. Oh, that's okay, I need something to soak up unemployment. They can stay employed. I initially shut it down because I didn't have a lot of workers. Okay, good. The gold is uh, running again. We've got three warships up. They're making one for him. Get my next four warships up and then maybe two transports and then I think uh, other than we might have all 14 or all 16 for the Kadesh battle. get all 16 so that's pretty good we're sending three chariots and one archers off to Kadesh a trade route. Oh, and they all came back safe. Okay, good. Oh. Hopefully they they open Kadesh for us and they'll buy something that we sell. And I can start making a little bit more money. Although we've been Doing sort of okay with the crappy gold mine economy. Gold mine economy is generally extremely strong, um, but the constraints I put on myself on this mission were to not really tear anything down, really. Um, we tore down a little bit of housing here. But we're 
we kept the academy, we kept the recruiter, we kept the talent palace, we kept all of the the dock stuff. Okay, so we are in debt. Okay, Kadesh wants fish. We can do that. Maybe that'll open up uh, Kadesh. We're okay on unemployment right now. We're a third of the way to our population requirement. Um, we might get out of debt. We're good on army for a while. I don't, I don't think we even need a bigger army than what we've got. Maybe some transports, the rest of the warships. But, but yeah. This might be very timely since we're running into debt trouble now. They buy linen and papyrus for cheap land route. Does Nossos or Abu sell us? Well, we can. We can sell, we can buy flax and sell linen. So if we set up five linen. Okay, so Kadesh is land. Abu is water. So we do have to get that dock up and we have to put five Five linen weavers over here. We'll want to expand that later because we'll want linen for ourselves if we're going to raise this housing up and get our culture rating for this mission, which is pretty high. Yeah, 60 culture is not a joke. Okay, so we've got everything for this project except the money. So let's add these things in as we can afford them. starting with that dog. Trading flax.
like so. Let's go half wax, half wax. Um, let's go. Linen. This guy isn't going to get all the way up here. So we do want, we do want to, to set up a, a second bunch of maintenance dudes to um, to handle all of this that could be some interesting walks maybe too interesting <laughs> other two things that we want which is to open up Kadesh and to start bringing in flax and to have some weavers guys are doing pretty good. These guys are having desirability problems. When we're when we're flush with cash later on in the game, I'll try to decorate things up to try to get these guys a little higher. I know there are some things I can do here like I could move all of these guys over to here and put another statue in. We are just determined. Oh, these guys aren't getting taxed either. That's one thing that we should think about from a fairness point of view. When we have the money We're not taxing our best housing. We're leaving our worst housing untaxed. Or we're taxing our worst housing and we're leaving our best housing untaxed. And we are really starting to dunk into the, into the negative here. Okay. So probably before the trade route, we're more interested in uh, flax and weavers. So let's put our weavers down. We wanted five. fort. Yeah, 
Yeah, this mission would be going a little quicker. Well, maybe not. I mean, our economy is keeping up to what we can do, except for here a little bit. We're waiting on funds to do um, a trade route that we would have set up if we had the funds, so. I'm kind of itching to, uh, to start making this little bit of money once these guys get there. down our last weaver and bring in some flax. Ouch. We could be doing festivals too and maybe getting Todd to fill these guys up, but That's a pretty specific blessing, and there's no guarantee that we're going to get it. But I do want to start giving festivals to Bast as a yearly thing as soon as we uh, can afford it. I really hampered myself on this mission by uh, not moving the city palace down to where the gold is. But it's making it more interesting, for me at least, probably not for people that are watching. Okay, so, you know, I I think we're going to start bringing the flax in because the sooner we get some uh, flax now that we've got the weavers up, the, the better we're going to be. And flax is cheap-ish. Okay, so nothing should be stopping the flax from coming in. We might be opening up. Uh, well, let's wait till we let's build up some cash to counteract the flax. And then when we've got actual linen in the yard, we can open up. Uh, open up Kadesh and start selling some linen, which will be a help. Any little bit of trade we can do as we are allowed to do it is going to be really helpful to doing all the other things we want to do, like um, finishing off the Navy, starting to import the granite again, because we haven't brought in a, a lick of granite since we got here. I don't know why we came. This city never trades, and the um, short leave is boring. Oh, that's Nassos. Okay. If this is Abu, then I he's... love the art of the deal. Okay. I can't wait to trade my supplies. And we just went into debt again. Hopefully we... After the linen is set up, hopefully we never see that message again. Okay, so we got 345 in the in the vaults. Two months. Wow, the Hittites don't give you much notice. We've got a lot of guys waiting to meet them. Okay. So now we're 732 in the hole. Four hundred and thirty-two in the hole. Eight hundred and twenty-nine in the hole. It's going to be a race to a race for linen. I think I might wait till we've got a thousand in the yard. 
before opening up Kadesh. That'll be two work cycles for both of these guys. Maybe 500 in the... Holy smokes. Okay, we lost eight chariots and four archers. That was a big battle. And I did not get a set blessing. I didn't... I don't think. That's okay. Um, everybody's got some experience. I don't think I'm going to be keeping this fort anyway, so while they're loading this guy up, they might n never get up here to add more archers. We'll find out. Okay, we've got Lennon hitting the yard. Okay, we just had another shipment of flax. I'm going to uh, to bite the bullet. 500 uh, linen out is better than sitting there and waiting. Okay. sell for 210 so that's a thousand right there okay I think uh, or that's import or export export is 160 so that's 800 Here he comes. It's the trader's life for okay. me. Now we'll just wait out. Um, wait out the money, and then, and then I think we're gonna bring food to these blocks here. our next step because we're starting to uh, require workers this is probably the most dangerous time for our city sale of linen will probably be a good one. Yeah, all we've sold is the 500 this year. here this is just desirability but everybody is getting food here comes our Kadeshi friend We've got a thousand in the yard, so that could take us out of debt if he takes it all. Nine months. Is this by land or by sea? By land, okay. Five hundred and ten in the hole. Okay, so I'm feeling a little bit better about things with that sale. enough to we're going to start our farthest flung housing block up with food and I 
think we're going to stick in our tax collectors over in these areas. So at least everybody's being taxed now. Everybody is okay. What time of year is that going to be? from now. I'll probably check again in October and see how we are for timing. So I just ran out of the room and grabbed a coffee. Sorry about the chair noises. Sorry for the upcoming slurping noises. Okay, where's our Kadeshi friend? So this is starting to happen. Six month warning. 324 in the hole. Good, pass through everybody a festival. Kadeshi friend, 35 workers required. People probably aren't coming to town because they hate me about slums, right? No, nope, they're extremely pleased with me. You'd think that I'd get the, the slum thing. City sentiment, I can always improve by um, putting in the oracle. Is it the oracle? Yeah. So when I have 800 spare, that's something that would be a worthwhile investment. Here comes our Kadeshi friend. Got a thousand in the yard. Is this the trip that keeps us in the black for good if we're not crazy? Hope that um, we kind of get a repeat of the Kadesh thing. Well, we've got a blessing from Seth, not the one that we kind of want. Okay, we're out of debt. Three months to comply. Although those Hittites sometimes give two months warning. <laughs> So hopefully that wasn't a big mistake. <laughs> okay, so we're starting to build back up here. 
So what's next? Talking about... Well, I think we've got enough enough reserve here for people that I don't think I really care about entertainment for these people yet. But maybe let's just get everybody fed and if we've got a little bit of unemployment after all that's done, we'll, uh, we'll deal with it. might be where we stick our jewelers later because I think we have to make jewelry for the if we're gonna take these up to manners which I think I'm gonna have to because we've almost created all the jobs that we're gonna create okay so we were victorious we lost two of the Falcons I think I'm gonna want another chariot fort down as soon as, I think that'll be the next thing that we do. Unemployment's at zero. Oh, it's nice to see food starting to go in there. We'll see if our uh, industry can keep up. No, we're gonna have to uh, lay down more fisheries. So I had some over here that I've wanted to do. I think we're holding this for a transport. I think that'll be a transport. So if we're going to do more fishing after that, we're going to have to come down here. Probably make the most sense to connect it to here. It gives the dock walker another way he can go. So we'll have to watch that he keeps employment. If we sent these guys up into here, that might be better. We'll think about sending them up into here. We're gonna do that now. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that now. Because we're pretty far off our uh, food targets with the, uh, although we do have Bast in all of these cities, except for these guys are eating like pigs because they don't have Bast. But everybody else has Bast uh, walking past their house. otherwise we're not going to be able to put these buildings down. I think that's all we're going to squeeze in there. Here, 
that'll give them a branch point and they'll either pick up employment here or they'll pick up employment here. So I think that's gonna work. Okay, so I think that's all the fish we're gonna squeeze out of this map. We can finish off our Navy. Let's make sure that this is working first. Because I never did test it. But it should this should this should do like over here did. It should pick up employment. Just that one message I got about it not being close to a road was throwing me off. Okay, so we conquered Gaza which we knew we were victorious. So now maybe they want a favor and they'll and we'll get Gaza as a trading partner too. And then and then the back might be broken on this mission. Then it might just be getting our targets. Let's wait for January. I'm going to start doing small gifts in January and uh, and festivals to Bast in January they want wood oh if you buy wood oh no that's Kadesh I thought that was Gaza okay um, I thought if we can sell wood that's the funniest thing about Biblos, and I mentioned it when I watched uh, Attican's uh, run. Seems like last year <laughs> that Biblos does nothing for us when they're in the game, and uh, we can trade with them. They do nothing but uh, buy jewelry and uh, sell wood, and then when we get here. Uh, we can produce wood, but we can't sell it. <laughs> so it's just like it. nobody wants Biblos wood if it's cut down by Egyptians. I don't even want to speculate. Okay, um, what was I doing before I got sidetracked? I was just testing employment here, so they did get employment, so that's good. And we were hoping that that was going to be a trade route for us, but it wasn't. Well, we did replenish the uh, the archers. We've replenished the chariots already, so. These guys are getting employment. So they should be getting their boats. The boat guy is making boats, so we didn't uh, do any odd placements. We're above ground financially. We're out of fish in the granary. We've got surplus linen. That's probably from the tall blessing that we got. I forgot. I did my festival, right? But I didn't do my small gift. We're at 63 already. I don't think I'm going to be sending gifts this mission. But if we have to at the end, we know we can get some kingdom rating fast. Starting to see some fish again. That whole tr that. I'm scared I'm going to get called by water, so I think the next thing I'm going to do is put down two transports. Put down one. Put down two. Okay, so now four more warships and we're and one more chariot fort, maybe two if we decide to delete that. I would like to get them all inside. I, what I was thinking of from an aesthetic point of view, 
for this mission was to you know keep the the initial housing that they gave us outside the walls except for those two houses which would never get water and see if we could you know do something with them and i mean they're not great but they're they've got everything that they need to get them up uh, except for entertainment to uh, ordinary cottages and we'll try to get as many of them up there as we can um, and then I wanted everything else inside the city if we could help it um, made an exception here for the for the linen I might do some other industries out here I've got an idea for a little a uh, small senator block that just says housing uh, on the outer L here because that'll get water from uh, from this walker so we could potentially do a small housing block and then maybe do our jewelry industry over here that would be kind of fun I'm only going to do that if we're not going to hit 6,000 people though otherwise we'll just put the jewelry over here but if we are short of, um, you know, 300 workers at the end of this and our housing isn't going to hit 6,000, then that's the what I think I'm going to do as a solution. I salute my solution. I salute my solution. 745 Devons in the bank. Some unemployment. Let's finish off the Navy. Let's not, because now we don't have 700 Devons in the bank. We need our Kadeshi friend to come up and buy some more linen. Oh, there he is. I play with zoom out, out a little too far and it's probably not fun for anybody who watches the video. So I'm gonna see if I can discipline myself into staying closer. Oh, 3,600, okay. Baby, we are rolling. Okay, the Navy is done. <laughs> we used up all our money. So I don't think we've got any calls for anything. I was kind of hoping Gaza would send us a request so we could open up a Gaza trade route, but uh, I guess that's not gonna happen. Every time I think the game's gonna do something, it doesn't do it. I think it's probably time we started. The only things that's going to take employment from us now is all of our entertainment uh, venue stuff. We don't have a second food yet, I don't believe. Oh, they sell Abu sells grain. So what would it take now if we were going to, we'd have to bring pottery in. We can maybe start thinking about pottery and beer. We got to think about them anyways. It might be worth it to see what we need to do to um, evolve these up to manners. Um, Nobody sells clay. Let's just see if anybody will ever sell us clay. Available to export. 
That doesn't mean we'll never get it. But so we can buy pottery from Biblos. We can buy we can't buy beer from anybody yet. So let's and I don't think we can buy barley from anybody either. So I'm going to shelve the idea about um, evolving these up because uh, we're not getting beer probably for a while. Just put our venues up for now and we'll worry about schools after that. That's going to be expensive though because pavilions are 600. So let's change plans. Get our juggler schools up. He's gonna get uh, fire and architect from the loop here. We haven't hit any magic edu uh, entertainment uh, targets with these boosts. Average number of juggler stages, yeah, so I'm not expecting these guys to pop up to ordinary cottages yet. Okay, so we've got. of there. Ikken. 18 months for Ikken. Also a land route. So I wonder if this is going to be one of those missions where building a navy is a red herring. Let's see if we can get our fifth uh, 
chariot fort up for Icken. That's a lot of money to make in a short amount of time. Well, we got perfect rating is on everything. And we didn't pop this house. So maybe after the Senate house goes in. I'm going to go into debt. I want that. I want this full. I don't know, I don't want to go into debt. I do want to... I have to go clear across the city with these goods. Do my bass It'll festival. It'll take all day. Let's go lavish on her. wood that would be fun to all of a sudden ramp up a big wood industry over here In preparation, I've got nothing else I'm using this for right now. We've got room for one, two, three, four, five more storage yards if we want them. This appears to be working pretty good. Everybody's got a nice close fishing spot. That's exactly what I want when I give you festivals, is for you to pass it on down. Um, we need one more warship, and it looks like they're making it. Maybe Ikin will sell us beer. If we ever get to a trade route with Kamoon, then I know we're buying beer. <laughs> Made with 100% Nile water. Okay, so I kind of like our city, except for the unemployment. If we were going to do anything, we could sit down woodcutters in preparation for something that might not happen. But that is an employment sink at least. Um, we could, could maybe set up a jewelry thing. They sell jewelry. Does anybody sell gems? They sell gems. Nobody buys it though, right? So there's no point in doing anything with jewelers because I think that's the other thing we are allowed to make. Yeah. We're not laying down any more gold mines or copper mines. Nobody buys copper, right? I would have noticed that. If somebody buys copper, I'm going to shoot myself. Okay, good. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to put down our community. 
conservatory. here, which means we're going to have to put down a, a fire hose. So if that's going to, well, if we put a, something that's a three here, Let's just measure precisely. Seven. So we can put that there. And put it one, two, three. Put a conservatory there. I want to put a dance school for these three and a Senate house here, which is why I'm kind of doing that math. And, and then we'll put all of our, all the list stuff down here. That's something we might think about doing now, is we seem to be healthy enough to do more granite. So let's get the fort down and then let's start uh, bringing in some granite. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so I did leave enough room. So I don't have to rejig anything here. So that would be a Senate house. We have no beer, so there's no point in putting that down because I don't think it's going to... Uh, man, it's expensive as all get out. There's our last warship. Oh, we got a lot of money now. Cherry Tier Fort. When this fills up, I think I'm going to delete this finally. And uh, we'll give them one last hurrah in Kadesh, and then we'll retire them for years of good service. Archers are kind of obsolete. So we're going to offer them administrative positions for, for the army. We're going to promote all these guys up to general and retire their fort. And that's what I'll tell myself so I don't feel guilty about deleting a good company of soldiers. 'Cause we're going to be um fourteen percent. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need to set up a new industry.
I don't know if we're ever going to get to use this, but I need to soak up some unemployment. And it's Biblos, so... some trees down for that. I'm going to put down four. We'll keep this guy here. I guess I don't really want to uh, anyone ever calls for weapons or chariots and we'll do one more weaponsmith Although if we get a request for bows, I'm going to be really embarrassed. I can't trade them. We potentially can trade weapons later, so maybe that wasn't a bad idea. We'll see if we ever open up a trade route. We might organize this into a, a real weapons industry. That might be a good thing to do with... Uh, with that, another little block here. Okay. And gotta think about decorating. <gasps> we popped up to Ordinary Cottage, so something we did with entertainment has, um, has given enough bonus points to evolve these houses up. Desirability. I'm just going to see. Ha! We got some ordinary cottages down here. So if we can end up with ordinary cottages up here then I think I'll uh, be quite satisfied without going crazy to try to get everybody up. Just the fact that we've got some, some nice housing. Okay, good. Okay, so we've kind of, kind of done what I wanted to do over here. Let's uh, celebrate by starting to bring in some granite. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go two hundred, and then probably as they come, come in. We'll, we'll put down our small ones first. Let's start thinking about footprints here. Let's 
So there's where we're gonna want that one. around everything. Copper. Oh, if somebody buys copper. Who is it that wants it? It's not gas, it's Rewardi. Well, that's kind of a surprise, but potentially a great surprise. There's some copper. I would love a tr I would love another trade route, especially one that might give us beer, because then I can start toying with the idea of getting that up. Because I think we can already bring in papyrus. No, we can't. Okay, so we're not uh, we're not quite ready to think about doing evolutions. Starting to make some weapons. Do I want to replace? I'm depending what happens. I might replace these gold mines with copper mines. If we all of a sudden get a really lucrative. Uh, trade route for copper. Yeah, I think that's how we're going to place down those. 12% unemployment, so we're definitely not improving our housing or adding any more housing down. Eight months away. Okay, that is beautiful. Let's see what they do. They sell us beer. They sell us more flax, they sell us papyrus, so, and they sell us meat. They are a water trade route. They buy gems, which we don't sell. They buy copper. <laughs> Sorry, that was a cackle. I try not to cackle. So it appears that I set up the wrong industry, but we have the, well, we're not going to really be using any more jobs because we're just replacing some copper mines with, uh, or we're swapping some copper mines in for some gold mines, but we can way more effectively get copper to the docks and we can get gold to the uh, to the warehouse or to the city palace so we are going to want to be getting copper like a crazy fool we're taking 800 here, so we're going to want to sell it when it is over 800 because we don't want to run the risk of um, having the dock walkers go all the way over to the far corner of our city. 
4,000. So I'm going to have to do some quick math here as well. Okay, so I definitely believe that the money problems are over in this game. So we could start uh, decorating. We can probably start bringing in everything that we need, pottery and... Uh, and linen and stuff to start doing the um, well number one we're going to be able to put down our, um, some more linen uh, industry for to supply ourselves and we should be able to bring in everything that we need to bring in so we've got 44 okay Over, over sixteen hundred. No, we want to sell over twenty four hundred because we don't want them coming down here. If I if I disconnected all of this from uh, from the city, we could keep the dock uh, walkers away from this area, but uh, it has to be connected. If I'm sending that water guy all the way around. This is the first time I've ever used a, um, a forced walker in a, in a mission that I can think of. It's not the way I like to play, but I thought it would be fun to try and to try. It was my only shot at, uh, at keeping this housing block and have it not be like uh, just junk housing for employment purposes. I do want everything in the wall to be semi-decent. Okay, so I have to go back here and export over 2400. And then how many copper mines do we want? So that's 768 into 4000. So we want 5.2, so we'll go six copper mines, five for trade and one for me. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna have just the right amount. No, we won't um, because there's only one there. I thought there was two. So this makes the most logical sense because he's closest to this yard. You're mining copper now, boys. And uh, I think our money woes are over. We'll wait till we start selling copper and then we're gonna start buying uh, beer and pottery and getting it over to the yard here. And then we're gonna to have to decide what we're bringing in grain or meat. Um, yeah, so we're gonna to have to start setting up to sell over 1600 if we're gonna do this move. Because again, we want to keep the dock walkers from uh, from cheapers. Uh, Where is he going to go when he comes in? Is he going to go here or is he going to go here? Stay on a half 
and then this will be where we get our grain or let's see who sells more twenty five hundred meat versus four thousand grain land root or pardon me water root water root so it doesn't really matter okay so now you are not in the business of you're in the business of grain I could just get grain into here but And then you are going to see this trade route or this uh, storage yard before you see anything else. And you're going to have a nice short walk to get there. And there's some for myself. You're going to want to eventually get some kind of luxury good. I put myself in debt. Oh yeah, plunking down the uh, copper mines will do that. Let's not miss our battle. Okay. You are now also trading copper. You are actually, you're going to accept everything except for granite. Just to make things simple on myself, I don't think I'm going to uh, want to be trying to remember to, to manage all of that as it comes in. So you are now the pottery place, you are now the beer place, you are now the papyrus place, who am I buying gems from, down the road? Abu is selling me gems, so that's a water route. jewelers down here. We do not want to miss our battle. Thirteen per 
percent. I don't think I want to be making jewelry yet. Although to give me some. <laughs> We're going to have some P.O.D. gods. Right, we're already... Am I, did I set the sales right on? I can't remember if I did. No. So exporting went over 1,600. That's going to hurt, but I don't want them going in here. When he comes to town, let's see where he goes. Our long and dangerous trek here was for nothing. The oh, city won't we don't trade. know where he's going to go because we aren't, uh, we just set the export limit down. So we got copper on the docks now. Doesn't look like we've got any excess yet, though. These aren't full. Song at all. Okay, so that little switch in industry kind of cratered us a little bit for our. Plus, we've got five um, or four copper mines offline, or gold mines offline. We should be back on track with uh, finances pretty quick. 1700, so we're not quite ready to sell copper yet. We almost have five full chariot forts, three months. No reports of any threats, so yeah, let's get them out. Let's wait till let's wait till the crocodiles are full. Here comes the last guy here. Okay, there's everybody. So other than some pretty tough Hittite battles, We should be selling uh, linen again. In fact, there goes linen, and it went from the right yard. So that is good. That cleared off a lot of the debt. That's not a lot of people. It's a good thing we got bass on our side because we're not we're not fishing enough. So we saved Ikken. 
We have everybody back. Um, we forgot to do our festival, which I think is pretty important. So we're going to go a little further into debt, but I don't want to miss that. I don't want to mess up the festival rotation, even though I sort of am late. We don't quite have enough granite to start on an obelisk. Closing in on the two hour mark on this one, so I think I might uh, just purposely shut it down. Maybe let's get out of debt and then and then close it and then pick it up uh, later. I'll probably post this as a two hour one uh, rather than trying to, to split it. Oh, what did we do? That are that can't have been granite that stuck us that high up. What? Okay, so we just made a big sale and we're out of panic mode. Let's just sell some of the copper. There's a load of copper coming to the docks. So we can't open Ikken. We saved Gaza, but we can't open Gaza. So we can sell a thousand copper next time Rewardi comes in. I love the art of the deal. That's I Abu. can't wait to trade my supplies. As soon as Rewardi comes to town, I think uh, I think we're good. This is a little bit more granite. We do have enough to plunk an obelisk down. Okay. We don't, uh, we're not gonna sick a, a geld guy on it yet though. We could soak up some unemployment, but our debt situation is kind of bad. Okay, come on, is this real? I love the art of the deal. Okay, I can't wait to trade my supplies. Be interesting to see if our economy is completely fixed now, and then we can start to uh, bring in beer and pottery and linen, and uh, start to think about. Uh, getting these guys up because they're just waiting for pottery
got a dog growling at a cat. Okay, here comes some some pottery sales. What a bountiful journey! I bought six hundred. Oh, okay, just because of the uh, the constraints on our uh, surpluses here. That'll that'll work out eventually. Right now, it's kind of not in our favor. Okay, so January, let's hold the Bast Festival and let's uh, finish up. Okay, I'll see you later on in Biblos the movie or part three. This is part two. Um, we might aim to to finish next. Um, next mission okay we'll see you next time